What's up everyone, back for another vlog, and in today's vlog, I will be showing you the shelfie beers that I'll be reviewing for the month of July 2022. So if you're unfamiliar with what shelfie beer reviews are, they are reviews of beers that I can easily grab off of the shelf at a local, uh, say, beer store or grocery store. I try to focus on bigger regional national and international breweries so a lot of you out there can grab them and drink along with the review if you uh, choose to do so. Um, I post these reviews every Tuesday and Friday of each month. In the month of July there are nine Tuesdays and Fridays therefore there are nine shelfie beers in front of me right here. So let's go over them real quick. These are in order of how I'm going to post them. This will be the first of the month and this will be the last. So first up from Sam Adams, we have their Porch Rocker and this is the 2022 uh, release. Lemon Rattler, they're trying to go for a uh, you know a German Rattler. Typically it's a uh, 50% uh, beer with 50%. I always thought it was uh, lemon lime soda pop or I guess it could also be a lemonade, but they are going for like a German um, style uh, Rattler, and it's a lemon one, 4.5%, 8 IBUs. The reason why I'm reviewing this is because when I posted their cherry wheat uh, review last month, I did it as a shelfy beer, a couple people said this was their least favorite seasonal from uh, Sam Adams, and guess what? I've never had this beer. This is one of the few seasonals from Sam Adams I never had, never picked it up. I do enjoy Rattlers and, and Shandies and whatnot uh, from time to time, especially in the summer. So I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this one, but I grabbed it and we're going to review it. So yeah. Anyway, next we have a collaboration. This one is between uh, Dogfish Head and Trillium, and this is their True Action IPA, 6.5% IPA. So what they ended up doing is a collaboration where they release um, a different beer. Uh, Dogfish Head released this, and I believe Trillium released a double dry hopped version uh, of this one and pretty cool collaboration i haven't uh, reviewed a dogfish head beer in a while and this is quite fresh and yeah i'm pretty excited they have a little spiel when i do the review i'll, I'll read it and whatnot but looking forward to that one because why not dogfish head truly let's do it next we have another collaboration this is between um amagang and a far stone walker and this is their neon giants they're calling this one uh an astronomically hazy ipa brewed with new zealand hops uh, 6.5% as well, and uh, they have the hops listed on the back, which I think are pretty cool. We'll talk more about that when we review it, but um, it's been a while since I've had a Hop Ford Amagang beer, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to both of these collaborations between breweries that I enjoy. Can't wait. Next, we have a beer that I've had before once back in 2015 when I started trying to... Uh, I wasn't a huge Pilsner guy. Um, it wasn't until the last couple of years I started to appreciate the style more. But back in 2015, I bought a lot of American uh, brew Pilsners to see what one was the best for me. And this one, I only gave a 3.5, but I have a feeling I'm gonna enjoy it more. It's from Victory, it's their Prima Pils. So German style Pilsner, 5.3%. This one's actually pretty fresh. And uh, yeah, we'll talk more about it when I review it, but I know a lot of you out there have had this one. I, I enjoyed it, like I said, 3.5, but it didn't blow me away. But then again, not many Pilsners did uh, seven years ago. Next, you might've been eyeing this one since the beginning of the video. Um, it's from Anheuser-Busch, it's Bush Light Apple. So the reason I picked this one up is because I feel like this is gonna be very akin to like, a, a low ABV fruit beer that's a crusher for the summertime, kind of like Natter Days was, uh, kind of like the uh, Jenny uh, Kolsch's, the Ruby Red and the Tropical Pineapple. So I grabbed this, a can of this. I want to see how it is. If I enjoy it, who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll pick up a 12 pack, but uh, I've seen some friends really enjoy this one for what it is, and I'm going to give it a proper review and hopefully I like it. Next, we have one that was uh, recommended to me by a couple different people, one of which is a, a local viewer of the channel, Eric. So huge thanks to Eric for the recommendation. He said that this was like one of his go-to hazies right now. It's from uh, New Belgium. It's their Voodoo Ranger Juice Force uh, IPA. They're calling it a hazy Imperial IPA. I believe it's like nine, uh, what is it? I thought I saw it on here, is it? Uh... Yeah, 9.5%. So that's a pretty big, hazy Imperial IPA. I can't wait to get in that one. Like I said, Eric said that he really enjoyed it. Other people, uh, some of my untapped friends really enjoyed this one as well. So it's been a while since I've reviewed a uh, New Belgium beer. I think the last one I reviewed was their Accumulation, which was their Winter Hazy IPA. And I love that beer. I gave it like a 425. It was delicious. It really was. So hoping for good things from this one. Next. We have another Pilsner. This one is from Trogues, and it is their Trail Day. So this is a dry hopped Pilsner, and uh, the hops they're using, or the hop they're using is Saz. And uh, yeah, really excited to get into this one. Uh, quite fresh as well. Never had it before, but when I saw it, I was like, let's do it. Then we got another Pilsner. 
right next to it from Yingling. We have their Golden Pilsner, and I have never had this one before, so one of the few Yingling beers that I have not had. I also haven't had, is it Flying Eagle or something like that, that, that mango beer? I haven't had that, so maybe I'll pick that one up before the end of the year and review it, but I wanted to give this one a go. I think a can of this was like a buck 19 or something. Same thing with the Bush Light. I think it was like a dollar, so I grabbed these just because, again... A lot of people can grab these, especially the Bushlight Apple. Yingling gets pretty big distribution, and I wanted to try them. So here we are. And last but not least is a beer that I wanted to try for a while. Now, I reviewed the original release of this, the non-nitro version, and all I said in that was review was this needs to be nitro. This needs to be a part of their nitro series. And it is now. So it's from Left Hand, and it is their peanut butter, a milk stout, a nitro. So 6.2%, 25 IBUs, uh, best buy date of uh, in September, I think it's like September 21st. So when I reviewed this one, I was like, it needs the nitro treatment. I think it would play perfectly for what they, they're going for as a whole. And then I think maybe, I, I want to say I reviewed that back in like early 2020. So we're talking like two, two and a half years ago. I think they came out with this one back last year in 2021, but I didn't get a chance to pick it up. And I've been looking to buy a single bottle because I didn't want to buy an entire uh, uh, six pack of it. And I finally found a single bottle and we're going to review it. Left Hand's been uh, kind of letting me down with their fruit beer nitros. Uh, a couple of the other nitros that were non-milk uh, stout, uh, they were okay. Hoping this one is pretty damn tasty. I think I gave the regular like a 3.75, 3.8. I'm hoping that's more in the four range and more in my wheelhouse. So there you go. Nine different shelfy beers. I don't have like a great a great variety here. I mean, we got some IPAs, um, we have some Pilsners, and we got a Rattler and a Milk Stout. So decent, but not crazy. It's just, these were speaking to me. They all seem very refreshing, maybe outside of the Milk Stout and like the 9.5% um, Imperial Hazy IPA. But outside of that, I think these are going to be pretty fun to drink, quite fun to review, and hopefully you're able to pick some of these up and re review along with me, and drink along with the reviews. And if not, Hopefully you just check them out anyway. So I appreciate everybody stopping by for another vlog. Till the next one. Cheers.